Hey guys, Will and Basil here with Grayson Hobby, and we're just gonna go over a couple little receivers here today, popular receiver upgrade uh, for the Wizard and other quads that people are using. Um, and we have a great little adapter here to help minimize the amount of soldering and adapting you have to do in order to use these receivers. And not even minimize, zero. Not There's no soldering. No yeah. soldering. So yeah. it's a no solder adapter to get your... To be able to run the Spectrum 4649 telemetry receiver um, and the 6XB from Flysky. Right. Well, why why the need for this little cable? Yeah, why the need for this cable? Well, the factory cable, this one right here, has a female plug on it, whereas the cable that we're doing is reversing it to where you can plug a female plug into a male adapter. Um, basically, that gives us the ability to run the popular 4649 Spectrum Telemetry Receiver. It does have a bind port and the output port. And then the 6XB... Which is your favorite. Yeah, I like this on the Wizard. It has replaceable antennas, which is great because the stock receiver does not have replaceable antennas without uh, soldering. Gotcha. Um, and if you cut them off, then you, you replace can replace them. them. Right. Um, but this one has the same plug here and unfortunately can't really plug that in together. Um, not without using paper clips or tape like I've seen online. Or Guys, wire don't nuts. do that. Yeah, oh. don't do not do that. I mean, right. splice in solder if you're gonna have to do that. Right. But, but that's exactly what people don't wanna do with solder. It, yeah. they don't, they don't, they're not confident in their soldering skills, and soldering's not that hard. Yeah. Um, but any, in any event, they don't wanna solder, they don't know how, they're afraid, they don't wanna open up their quad. So this it's little just, adapter we have is gonna be eliminate the need yeah, to solder. It's a great little convenience thing um, for guys that are not comfortable soldering little wires and stuff like that. It gives you the ability to adapt to receivers that are more popular um, without having to solder. Right. Um, and this is in response to why. I've had a lot of guys ask me specifically on the 4649 how yeah. to put in their wizard. A, a um, lot as in how many? A lot. Well, for starters, you were the first person as soon as they came in. <laughs> um, but I've got a lot of emails, how to Wait, do it, how to do it. when did I ask you? As soon as the wizards came in, you said put it on my DX9. That was like last October, and here it is in May. It takes me So it to takes you, yeah. that's how long it takes me to get my stuff situated here. Um, but uh, basically, instead of having to make the adapters, we now have them pre-made for people. Right. Like that. But um, to go along with what we were, I was trying to get at is we get emails almost daily about on our YouTube, Facebook, uh, in the store, online, is how to hook up um, the Spectrum to the Wizard. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of people talk about the X6B receiver from Flysky. This is probably the greatest receiver Flysky's made for quads. Um, it has a lot of features on it, and it's a great footprint design. Um, it's easy to use and all that. It has the bind button versus bind plug. Right. Um, but this is a great receiver, but unfortunately, it's always a mystery for people how to get this connected to Wizards right. and other quads that use the SP Racing F3 or similar plug boards. Right. So we're going to show you how to do this really quick and easy. And as long all you need is a quad that's already disassembled, such as this Wizard. Yep. And if your quad has the eight pin ports right there or right there, um, SP Racing uses a lot of... Uh, F4 boards are using them too, so there's a lot of boards out there, but if the pinout works for you, then you can use it. Right, so it's not exclusively to the Eoshin Wizard. It's no. basically, like you just said, anything with the... SP Racing F3 board in particular is what it was set up right. for, but there's other boards out there that use it too. All right, so here we go. All right, well, so show us the magic. Okay, so here's what we got here. This is a dissected Wizard 220. Um, we have our stock Fly Sky receiver, and a lot of guys, if they chop the antenna off or they want to use a different receiver, Spectrum, Fly Sky, anything like that, um, a lot of times what you run into is you got your Spectrum receiver here, which has two different plugs, so you could use this jumper here, but then you don't really have a good way to bind it unless you do software binding. And again, if you don't know how to do software binding, it might be a little troublesome. Um, but you got the two harness there, and we got the Fly Sky. X6B receiver, which is this great little receiver. Um, it has replaceable antennas that clip on, so you can buy after uh, replacement antennas. Um, it's a really nice, it's got VBAC capability, so you can get telemetry to your radio with it. Um, it's a bind bun too, so you don't have to worry about having a bind jumper and all that. This is a great, this is actually what I run on my wizard. I like this little ant, uh, receiver um, and mount in the back. But the problem with that is you're running, this is the factory wire coming off the wizard, and this is the wire that comes with the, the set of wires that comes with the X6B, 
doesn't have the ability to run straight into it. Now I've heard of guys taking paper clips, stuffing in there. And oh my that's, gosh. That's not a good idea that's... for your radio connection, guys. <laughs> well, can um, I just unplug that? Well, the problem is unplugging this is not gonna buy you anything because you still don't come with a cable to plug into that. Uh, okay. So for only a couple bucks, we do have an adapter here that we got in. Um, this is the opposite side. This is the female, this is the male pins. Um, so we have the adapter cable. They'll allow you to run SBUS or PPM on the Wizard, the SP Racing F3. So anybody using SP Racing F3 board will be able to use this adapter to run the X6XB or the Spectrum uh, 4649 receiver without having to do any soldering or anything like that. So this is a nice little upgrade for a couple bucks to make it a little easier if you're getting the receiver anyway. Cool. Um, now, if you're gonna change the receiver out, you might as well run either serial or iBus, depending on which receiver you're running, or SBus if you got Tyrannus. Um, now guys, the factory configuration on the Wizard is in a PPM port, which is in the front. Um, if you look, there's another set of pins on the back side of the Wizard, right there, this is where we're gonna plug in the port now. We're gonna plug it in back here. Now you're gonna to have to enable all the settings in clean flight, or I'm sorry, beta flight, or clean flight if you're just using this board with something else. Um, but you're gonna to have to change all the settings, but this is just the hardware part we're going over. Okay. So this gives us the ability for the spectrum to be able to plug in through these pins here, and then it still gives us the ability to bind with the hardware bind. So this, again, this is just something for convenience. Um, it gives us the ability to have a bind jumper run out somewhere, maybe underneath the receiver and mount it back here. Um, but it gives us the ability to rebind, and we all know spectrums lose their bind occasionally. Um, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but in the event, it sucks to have to take the whole quad apart or hook up to a computer. This gives you the ability to just plug in a bind plug, rebind it, and go. Um, so that's on the Spectrum 4649, so it gives you that setup, and you can use the factory cable it comes with. So that's that, and then for the FlySky X6B, we have the ability to just plug it in as well. So that gives us a clean, no need to solder, install, again, convenience thing. Um, now, this one can run either iBus or if you move it to the PPM port, you can run, and you'll see it labeled on there. PPM, actually, PPM's there and iBus is there. So this is the iBus port here. This is the PPM port. So if you're running PPM, you need to move back to the front. So which is better and why? why what iBus is much faster than PPM. Um, they ship with a PPM configuration. Um, there is a little more setup for iBus, stuff like that. But um, if you're going ahead and changing out the receiver and you don't know really what you're doing as far as that, but you're just looking to replace your receiver, I would just plug into the PPM port, plug into the front, and go with it. Um, the settings on the flight controller should be the same. The only thing you have to do is check your endpoints and sub trims. Um, and there's a thousand videos on YouTube for that. Um, you probably, I think we have one too. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we should have a video as well, but um, gives you the ability to plug it in, get from there without having to snip the wires or run paper clips and tape. Um, um, or yeah. wire nuts. Yeah. I see you run wire nuts. Yeah. The Home Depot. Um, this gives you a nice secure connection. Um, again, if you want to run PPM, you're going to set it up in the outer port here, label PPM, run to the cable, the cable run to the front. This is the front of the frame where the camera would be. Um, run to the front port. If you're going to run iBus, you're going to plug into iBus, unplug here. All right. So, so again, this is just something we came up with uh, while we're getting adapters and all that. He came up with. Yeah. I, Not me. I have no part in this. Just a reverse <laughs> connector. That's all it is. Um, well, and why why do you come up with this, Will? I mean, what, what was the real reason? I get emails asking about it. Every a lot day. of guys are going yeah. to this receiver because if you go online, everybody for FlySky, this is the probably the best little FlySky receiver they've made so far. It's got excellent range. It has telemetry. It's super easy to use. Right. Um, the bind button versus the bind plug. It's, well, and it's then a great receiver. Not only that, the question is, how do I get Spectrum. my Spectrum to yes. work? And if you're asking that question, most likely you're not very good with quads or not up to date on, and you don't have it, you don't want to solder. Yeah, know? so I mean, it's one of those things that gives you the ability to run an adapter. And this will probably, this a cable will probably work with other quads. You can deep pin it, whatever you want to do. Um, but this, we're just kind of using the wizard example because it's something we have. And we got a lot of questions specific to this one on running Spectrum to it. Now, um, would this work, speaking of wizard, would it work on all the other e quads? F3? If it has the F3 board, yes. Um, so this adapter should work with the 
uh, Falcon with the uh, with the F3, the, the new Racer Pro. 250 Pro. And that's pretty um, much what we're going to carry from now there's on. There's a couple yeah. others, yeah, that they so have. So would it work with the Micros? No, it's not going to work with the Micros because they don't, they don't have, anything that's using the SP Racing the, F3 the or the modified ones. one, yeah, the um, Eashin does make one slightly modified, but it should work with that as well. Gotcha. Cool. So that's just something quick and easy, get you going. Um, a little less soldering makes the day easier, right? That's right. All right, so there you have it, the million dollar harness or adapter plug. Gets yeah, you... it, it gets you the ability to, to connect your radio. Now you still probably have to do some soldering and like that to be able to run the telemetry. But portion. you don't need to do soldering. No, you don't. This gives you the ability to try the receiver, get it set up without having to solder. Because you know everybody's impatient. Right. We all want to get it running. I want to start flying um, right away. Because some of that stuff I don't really care. If I have my external buzzer, yeah, I mean I'm good to go for a while. You know. So it's it's just one of those things that gives you the adapter to go from that. Um, and there's a lot of quads out there using. It's a eight pin Molex connector, one millimeter, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you the ability to use that cable, and honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm probably gonna end up chopping a lot of these things up and using them for silicone wire pins for other connectors. So, um, it's just a great little connector to have. It's very cheap. It's something great yes. to have in the toolbox for for quads. Exactly. All right. So subscribe and comment below. How? What do you think about this video? Hit the little bell button and stay tuned for our next video, which we got coming out and every Thursday. Thanks a lot. So a lot of guys are trying to ditch this receiver right here, which is a great receiver, but it's got the bulky connectors and it's soldered in here. And it's, it's just, it's big and a lot of quads are getting very small. So Fly Sky came out with the X6B, which is really small. It's a lot smaller, lower profile, thinner. Um, you can see the side profile is a lot thinner. Uh, it's, and there's no extra pins that you don't need because everybody's running iBus or PPM on these. And you can use your radios that <laughs> he's randomly in there. But, um, but basically, uh, this adapter will give you the ability to plug it in because FlySky, for some reason, came with two of the same cable and not one and one. So basically, the need was there. So that's what people are asking for. I see it online a lot. Um, so it's just a little cable. It's great for that.